Hello, everybody. Um, all right. This is not going to be a, a computer demo. Um, this is going to be actually quite fun because uh, I, I get to sit here and uh, and uh, have some fun with something. So in my hand, let's see. Yeah, in my hand, if you can see it, I have a box. Looks like a square, bo uh, rectangular box with uh, rounded corners. Um, I don't know how high it is. I'm horrible with the uh, measurements, but if I open it up, there's a watch inside. Whoops. Now, you might be wondering how a uh, blind person uses a watch. There's two um, kinds of watches. There's a braille watch <coughs> and a talking watch. Now, the braille watch, let me slip this around my hand. Uh, let's see if I can figure out. Oh, oh, I see how this is. Okay, there's a little band thing right here that I'm going to put back in the box. And it's a stretchy watch. It, I hope it doesn't come off my wrist, but, you know, it is what it is. And you, oops, it's on backwards. The little thing, this little nib right here goes on the right-hand side. I'm a left-handed watch user. So you, you open it up, and inside is a Braille face, clock face, big dots, nice big dots, and the hour hand is the longer of the two, and the minute hand I can't find right now. But the way you set the time is, and I'm going to do this um, outside so that it'll be easier for me. Now let me check the time on my phone. 3.38. And if I turn, if I pull the pin out, and turn, let's see, let me see if the pin's out all the way, I hope it is. If I turn the hour hand, I can't remember, no, it goes clockwise. If I turn the hour hand, the minute hand rather, uh, okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Here's the hour hand right here, and the minute hand is right here, and the way you set this thing is you turn the minute hand to go clockwise until your hour hand approaches, in my case, three o'clock, and you're not going to be able to see this. Let's see where my hour hand is. It's at 10. No, it's at, uh, it's at 11 right now. Now it's at 12. One more revolution, or a few more, should bring me to three. And there we go. So it is three. Oops. It's. It's 3.30, 3.38. So I'm going to bring the hand all the way to six. And 35, see, so there's 30, 35, 40, 45. So thir 30 is on the 6, 35 is on the 7, 40. So I'm going to bring it, well, I'm going to bring it to 340. And here's, you can't see, the, I don't think you can see the clock in, the clock face that well. But the hour hand is uh, almost not quite on the 4. The minute hand is on the 45 is on the 40. So I'm going to push a little pin in, which I'll let you hear. And I think it's going. Well, I won't be able to hear it. I don't think this thing has a second hand. But right now, if I put it on my wrist, uh, it's heavy watch, but I like it. Feels pretty good. I open the watch lid, and I can glance with a feel in my hands and know that it is almost 3:45. Now, it's actually 3:41, but 
but um, I like these Braille watches. Now, I don't normally, I don't have good luck with watches. I can wear a watch and have it, uh, sorry about that, I can wear a watch for about a year, uh, but it'll, it'll die, which is a bit of a problem. Um, I don't know why I have bad luck with um, watches, but um, but yeah, I like I love Braille watches when they decide to work. They're Braille um, pocket watches, and let's look at the clock face. If I can hold it still. Oops. Let me just for convenience sake bring it up on my uh, arm, and if I look at the watch face. And look at the minute hand. I think. Well, yeah, I think it's moved just a bit. So. Um, normally I can hear it uh, ticking, but. You know, um, I think either this thing might need a battery or whatever. But um, but yeah, that's how you set a uh, Braille watch, and it's really sad actually. That. It's, it's really sad that most kids nowadays don't know how to read a, uh, an analog clock um, because you have um, a clock on your phone, or which you can't see right now because I've got voiceover on, or you have a clock on a computer, or uh, you, know, you have digital clocks that actually show you the time. So, I mean, it is really sad indeed that you know um, very few kids, even my age, know how to read an analog clock. Very few kids who are about maybe 16 and under know how to do this. And I'm not saying that it should change. I'm not saying it should or should not change, but you know, that's just something to point out. So I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this and um, any questions or comments, um, you know, feel free to ask me questions on, you know, Braille or whatever um, you can. I'll try my best and answer them in a video or uh, in a, uh, uh, you know, in, 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 in a, uh, in a uh, text comment, feel free to send me video responses as well. I don't bite normally. <laughs> so that's it. I'm out of here.